Could you turn me my headphones up a little bit? Yep. Yo, Dre. Dre. I, there we go. I ain't got no Thank snare you. in my headphones. Thank you. I ain't got no snare in my headphones. Easy there, easy. Check, check, check. All right, I'm right. smart with it. Give it that special touch because I'm also a label rep. And Bars. I no bullshit. So hush, baby, shush, baby, shut your eyes. Lay your head back and watch the tears crystallize while I extract the essence from your head. Is that real hip hop? Damn. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. I got bars. They got bars. They got bars. Bars. Maybe that should be our podcast. Just me rapping. It's called Dave's Got Bars. Dave's Got Bars. Hello, everybody. And welcome to the super duper extra special 138th episode spectacular camcast. Yeah. It's a bit extravaganza. Yes. Everybody sounds so excited. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we sound intoxicated. We're getting there. We're, we're getting, working on it. We're not even working on it. Yet. We haven't even broken into the big bottles yet. Anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Uh, episode 138 of the Camcast brought to you, as always, by our friends over at Steady Broke Clothing. Steadybroke.com. Steady broke, steady.broke on all social media. Gavin's wearing his Depresso t-shirt. Goddamn right I am. Yep. Use uh, coupon code CAMAUTO15 at checkout. Save 15% on your entire order of things like the Depresso shirt, the Broke AF Block T, mm-hmm. hats, hoodies. I need me that Hella Broke Dad hat. Yes, you do. You need yourself I, a crop top is what you need. I Damn. saw another Depresso t-shirt <laughs> at the Drift event today. Nice. No shit. Yeah, no wow. shit. Shout out to whoever that was. Yeah, I don't even know who it was. I'm trying to get Depresso Fridays to be a thing. I love it. Yep. We Damn. need to do far more Depresso Fridays. Yes, we do. Tommy, we're coming after it. Yep. Ah, there we go. All right. Yep. And then you can support us directly by going over to camautoswag.com, buying yourself some of the fall collection, long sleeve tees, Mount Cammore, I'd like to change my answer. Mm-hmm. Have you seen mm-hmm. Dad? Get yourself a tote bag. No, seriously, have you seen Dad? We yeah. kind of want to know where he is. We're staring at an empty chair right now. It's, yeah. It's, a little it's concerning. But yeah, it's over at camautoswag.com. And as you heard on Tuesday, but I'm going to reiterate again today, patreon.com slash camautomag. Ah, yeah, that's a thing. Yes, it is. That's fantastic. Yes, we finally have a Patreon. Hell yeah. Yep, give us enough money, we'll get you into our top secret, super double, triple secret Facebook group where you just get a come and shit post with us. It's It's the best. It's a delightful place to be. It really is. It really is. Yeah, you know, you can get Zach, you're a part of it. Am I now? Yes, you are. It is absolutely well, you're, wonderful. You're, you're in the chat. Are you in the group, too? He's in the group. I added him to the cool. group. It, it's uh, the yeah. group car group to to be, too. Yep. You, like you are... Secret. I didn't know if I could talk about it or not. You oh, are yeah. excitable child 2.0. <gasps> yep. So, yeah. Better, faster, stronger. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know about any of that. <laughs> nope. But that is <laughs> patreon.com slash camautomag. We've got a variety taller. of levels for you to subscribe on. You know, anything from just a buck will get you a shout-out on the podcast. Up to 50 bucks, you get a shirt. Mm-hmm. Sticker, exclusive content, access to the Facebook group. Damn. Yeah. Wow. There's something about possibly getting a. Yeah. Once we get to once we start making 150 bucks a month on Patreon, we'll start grabbing random patrons, bringing them down to the basement. I love it. Interrogating them because mm-hmm. now we have the interrogation light. Indeed. Yep. Show us on the doll where they've touched you. Everywhere. The, no. The the doll. Oh, no. No. Either. Show us on the. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you an hour? Have you been at the communist party? <laughs> Dave may have been nice, but I got phone books. I am not fucking around. Damn. Exactly. All right, we got leaky pipes. We've got wet laundry. There Don't we go. Don't make us turn this podcast around. Holy we shit, do. there's a Stairmaster down here? <laughs> we, we got exposed uh, fiberglass uh, insulation. Yeah, let's not worry about that. It's and good for the health. And we've got hot incandescent light bulbs. Yep. It's our only heat I believe there's right some now. spare electric wiring still down here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I took uh, took the spare stuff through it in the garage. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. It's not like that's hard to retrieve. I nope. mean, you can't have the Romex just kicking around all willy-nilly on the floor. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. Good trip on it. Yep. So, yeah. There you go. Also, you know, camautomag.com, camautomag on all social media. Find us on uh, Find This Here Podcast, Apple Podcast, Google Play, Spotify. Rate, review, subscribe. Five stars. Mm-hmm. There we go. Four stars. We're going to call you a hater. Damn right. So this is a bit quicker than we usually do a turnaround for the recordings. Usually we record on Mondays, but this is a Saturday night because we're recording episode 138, which, by the way, I'm going to start Ooh. numbering these things and saying that at the top. Beautiful. So, Good to know. So I don't lose goddamn count again. <laughs> Yeah, we blew past episode 100 a while ago. And I we, mean, we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing again for 150, right? Yeah, we're gonna do something. Well, maybe a little <laughs> a little less. For maybe 200. Yeah, we're gonna do something for 240. 
No. No. Stop it. You tried. And I never want you to stop, okay. except in this instance. <laughs> okay. I'm Please sorry. just stop. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to start numbering the podcast. But, yeah, we're celebrating episode 138 because, one, we blew past 100, and, two, me and Trent are big Simpsons nerds. And when Simpsons hit episode 138, they had a uh, 138th episode spectacular, which was a clip show. Beautiful. It was great. I love it. Yep. So, yes, we are down here. We're in the basement. It is uh, me, Mike, Deer Leader, Doc Taste, the doughy one himself. <laughs> Herder of cats. God, leader of men. Are you sure? I like a cat sometimes. I like to think I'm a leader of men, seeing as how I've dragged this thing kicking and screaming through 138 episodes. So. I really feel like I should be playing the Nyan Cat soundbite right now. Well, I mean, you have access to that. We'll get there. Uh, to my right, this has been for quite a while, the one, the only, the excitable child, Gavin Picar. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever this episode may find you. <laughs> Attaboy. E. Never timestamp, buddy. Ever. Nope. Never, ever. Nope. Why is it raining outside? God damn it, Zach. Oh, shit. We'll get to you and your issues in a minute. <laughs> there's anyway. A, there's many of them. Uh, currently staring daggers at Zach. Professor of the Ghetto Arts, you're my and our Uncle Radical. Daddy Rads. Dave Raleigh. Ahoy hoy. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. My fucking hero. Yup. Up top. Yeah. That was terrible. Left handed. <laughs> there you Much go. Much better. Sinister bastards. Yep. Uh, it's because. Uh, fight me, Trent. Yeah. Trent's not here. Neither is, well, obviously, Pizza Dad's not here because he's never here. Yeah, but Dave is sitting in Trent's seat. Yes. Saying yeah, ahoy hoy. Right, I am. Yep. So. How do you feel, Trent? Where is your god now? Like I said last time, the old gods are dead. They can't help you. Your yeah. god has no power here. What uh, about what about New Jesus? It's kind of like New Mexico. There was something wrong with the old ones. So we had to have a new version. <laughs> but what about like, or what about New Coke? That didn't go over so well. No, New no. Coke did not work. <laughs> how, how new is, Coke is not even a good mixer. How is New Jesus testing? No, well, I mean, it's probably along the same fare as New Jersey. Ooh, no. the Garden State. Anyway, I'm shooting fire. Had a boy. Uh, anyway, we are joined by, well, running the board real quick. Yeah, we've upgraded him from sitting on the couch to guest who doesn't know when to talk and not talk. So to, we're just going to give him all the knobs. Yeah, we're giving, him all, we're giving him something to keep himself occupied. Things. Yes, exactly. It, uh, it's Zach Lord's Excited Present. Child 2.0. Zach the board op. Cool. Yep, there you go. And <sighs> I feel like I'm back in high school all over again. I got a weird nickname. It's, it's fine. Weird nickname, operating a board. I'm not wearing black, though, so it's I feel a little... Give it time. I, I'm doing that Give for it you. Time. Okay, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Same yeah, here. I got you. Likewise. Yep. Uh, anyway, he's wearing black just like the rest of us. boy. Yes. It is your friendly neighborhood man of all things, Brandon Coon. Yo. Yup. Yes, the man who got uh, extra electricity down here in this basement. What a hero. Yep. You are a man of many things. Copper and silicone is one of them. Mm -hmm. Quite right. Mm -hmm. Damn right. And we <sighs> love you for it. So so where's this train going to get derailed? Is it here? I mean, it could get here immediately because, uh, so, as I mentioned on uh, Tuesday, we had uh, some more big announcements coming up. Right. So, first off, you know, good news. On November 3rd and 4th, mm -hmm. I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be marathoning a bunch of games. Oh, perfect. Because I'm going to be participating in a thing called Extra Life. All right. Yeah. Raising money for Children's Miracle Network. So oh, no. That one. Yeah. So, yeah, November 3rd, November 4th, I'm going to be down here in the basement streaming games as I can. Very and, nice. Uh, yeah. Hello. I'll post a link to uh, my donation page. I'm just trying to raise 100 bucks. It's not really... That's it. Not I'll be sure much. to share that for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Share, subscribe. I've, I you feel know. like our viewership can reach that very easily. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. quite. Oh, yeah. It's two bucks for all of you. Yeah. So... You know, might have some uh, special guests pop on. Might be playing with some uh, friends of the program. You know, Chirp got himself a PS4 Pro, so. It looks like a, a, a hotel you'd find on the Vegas Strip. Right? It's, it's really like quite they, weird. It's like they put another layer on a PS4 Slim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's exactly what they've done. Really? Yeah. 
Uh, mm. So, yeah, Extra Life, November 3rd and 4th. Uh, catch me on twitch.tv slash camautomike. I will be streaming all sorts of games. All right. May reinstall Destiny 2 for this. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that reinstall. Was, uh, yeah, that one. God damn it, Bungie. Fucking got me again. <laughs> Just, like you did, sinker. Just like you did with the first Destiny. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <sighs> well, you know, it happens. Yes, it does. And you know what else happens? Growth. Moving on to bigger and better things. And Being reborn anew. I'm yeah, sure, crying. that too. You know, crying. getting dunked, you know, ass backwards into the Jordan River in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you know, <laughs> those sorts of things. But uh, no, our, our excitable child... Gavin. Oh, no. He's still going to be doing cam stuff, but uh, the cam cast is... Yeah. Yeah. So... The emotional... I, I am going to miss you guys, we're, for sure. We're going to miss you, too, buddy. Um, And I will be back. This is not, like, yeah, no, the he, last time I'm ever going to be down in the basement. No, he's still going to pop in, but... Yeah. You know. um, you better come say hi, fucker. I, I fucking... I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm God short for words of how <laughs> intensely I feel about this. Yes. Okay. So, so why are you leaving us? Um, that's a great question, and I know you're. I sh- I should have thought of an answer. I of demand time. an answer. Yeah, Dave um, doesn't love you anymore, Dave. Damn it! Where's Glenn? It's okay, He's a DM. He can come up with the story real quick. <laughs> I got a twenty side. We could just roll. Just like <laughs> roll twenty for initiative. <laughs> roll, roll twenty for creativity. <laughs> roll a twenty. Oh, well, I, I don't feel like there's a way a that I can at least say this that Thank won't come off not as a botch, not much insulting. Better. No, it's go ahead, man. You just don't love us anymore. I do. I actually do love you all, except for Zach. <laughs> you present. You found another podcast group. I actually haven't. What What is her name? <laughs> uh, no. The reason why I I feel. A lot has happened uh, in my personal life this year. Oh, no. And I took a, a break, and I came back, and I don't feel as that I'm contri- I'm able to contribute as much on this last kind of come up, or this last go around. Hmm. Um, so what I want to do is kind of reassess some things and um, yeah. kind of rearrange how I'm actually contributing to Cam. You just got to yeah. center yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and I also am focusing a lot in uh, the show dry, uh, no, I was about to say the driving experience. Yeah, no, uh, drink. <laughs> drink. Uh, I, I need a drink. Oh. What do you want? Surprise me. Okay. <laughs> okay, as Dave grabs a bottle of vodka. <laughs> yes. Thank that you, sir. That didn't make any noise. I'm really disappointed. I know. I barely <laughs> heard it. <laughs> Anyway, um, no, I'm I'm actually starting to put a lot more thought and effort and energy and resources into the um, exhibition of speed show. Yeah, and so um, I want to do that. And I, when I'm doing these bits for that, I think if I do some uh, articles and some writings, yeah, and, beautiful, and contribute to kind of uh, double dipping. Hey, man, as it works. It's a, that's the nice thing about being the boss. On yeah. another on another project. It's fun, isn't it? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, uh, I could totally use this for it, like other shit. It's uh, holding the band hammer and knowing full well who to hit with it. Uh, yeah. Hey, having, nobody I, gonna tell you no. Uh, I am hitting a couple people. Uh, uh as it were. Ah uh, yes. Can also I, a fun thing. Can yes. I be a guest on the uh, on exhibition of speed? Pitch me an idea. I got you. Get, what, what what's your elevator pitch? My elevator pitch? Yeah. I have access to a test track and a 400 horsepower BMW with a V. Done. <laughs> Perfect. Can I have a go-to? Probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> Gavin loses his shit oh, in a 400 horsepower M- uh, BMW. Yeah, exactly. On the uh, proving grounds. Yep. Thanks, Cole. Damn. <laughs> Well, I think Cole. I, stole I still us. need. I need to pitch it to Cole first. So let's oh, okay, far. got you. Hey, man, <laughs> still, we should have done this while he was in Australia. Uh, you know, we should have done a lot of things while he was in Australia. By the way, Cole, love you. 
Yeah, love is, you, buddy. Is he back? I, I, no, he's not. No. I think by the time this airs, he will be. But Got you. Okay. I think he's still. I think he is still in Australia. Yeah, he's been posting uh, little Instagram clips from uh, Gold Coast Five or Six Hundred. I can't remember which it is. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Sweet. Yeah, I've been trying to keep tabs on on he and uh, and Chair Slayer. Yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys don't know. Some of you guys do know. I'm I'm actually Rob Parsons' roommate. It's pretty entertaining. Currently, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, and so yeah, like, oh, oh, like two weeks ago, he's just like, "Hey, so I'm going to be in Australia for a couple of weeks." Okay, like, make sure the house doesn't burn down. I'm like, I, "Okay, it's in my we, best interest too." I mean, yeah. we, we live in an eight unit apartment complex, so it's like myself and seven other people that have to worry about this. But, <laughs> hey, man, but that's neither here nor there. Nope. Right. I have yep. a co- I have a cool, somewhat famous Canadian roommate who rolls around in a wheelchair. It's great. Yeah, that's awesome. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's just Hoonigan shit laying all over the place. That's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's gold for some people. Hey, man. Uh, uh, but Gavin, anyway, yeah, we are going to miss the shit out of you. Yep. We're going to miss, miss you, too. You no, know, I'm, I'm going to be back Like when I have more stories and like shit to yeah. talk about. Oh, of course. Gavin's gonna, he's going from a I'll, regular I'll, cast member to a recurring guest. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good it. with that. I As hope you show up more than listener, Stucky. Yeah. As a dedicated listener, the show won't be the same without you. I, I mean, I, well, I, I understand yeah. what you're doing, and I applaud it. Thank you. Uh, it won't be the same, so center yourself. You. I will. I will come back as often as I can. There you go. We, we love like it. it. We love it. I have a feeling you're going to be here more often than Pizza Stepdad. You know what? That's not a hard number to yeah, beat. That's a low. You're right. <laughs> the bar is really low. Yeah, you're Don't right. Don't go limboing under that bar. I mean, all you, all you got to do is just you know, twenty six percent. Jesus. <laughs> Twenty six percent, man. That's really not hard. <laughs> yeah, like you really just have to show up once a month, and you're on par with them. exactly, exactly. I'm okay with that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in in replacement of you, I, I mean, nobody can replace you. Nope. But to, I, to I, attempt I, to fill the shoes, yeah, yep. that you are leaving behind. There's a lot of mashed potatoes and gravy involved in the filling of said shoes. Oh, shit. However, Damn. <laughs> I'm not excited for this. Uh, uh, but well, Zach is excitable child 2.0. Yep. Hey, there you go. So maybe the timing of this is just perfect. I mean, it works out because kind we kind of we kind of drug Zach up just kind of as a last ditch effort. Well, he just Zach said he wanted to be on. Yeah. So well, and so first we were we like, just, you know, we fuck just it. we just let him in the basement just to hang out. Just to I came down there like sit in that fucking corner and don't move. That lasted a grand total of one episode. I yeah, really exactly. actually two episodes, you one have, session. Yeah. You have done shit that nobody else will be able to without paying an exorbitant uh, amount of money. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I, like, yeah, I just wanted to see what it was like just to have somebody else down there. And, mm-hmm. okay, that worked out. And then... Uh, now I control all the knobs. Yeah. It's because, true. Well, I mean, this is kind of your thing, though. Yeah. yeah. You're the, into the whole, like, stage... Production behind the scenes gaffer. It's a little weird to be on the mic, but I'm getting used to it. It's all right. I mean, you know. Well, that's okay. You can be somewhat behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, well, know, knob. So, somewhat exactly. Well, if you've seen the Smoking Tire podcast, you're basically Timmy. I have not seen Smoking Tire con- the, the podcast, except he's a little more articulate than you. But it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. It's I'm all working right. on it I, again. Like I said, the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all right, man. Like we'll just. You Granted, know. I'm not very articulate either. Yeah. I. Well, I mean, you're excitable. Unique New York. Unique <laughs> New York. The young gun, the Long Island Lolita. The young gun. Oh, the young that. gun, the Long Island Lolita. The young gun. Red leather, yellow leather. Red, Red leather, leather, yellow, yellow leather. leather. Exactly. She sells seashells by the seashore. Ah, oh, perfect. I feel like I'm having hey, a really bad so, acid trip right now. So, guys, <laughs> just oh, you fucking are. Total side note. Total side note. <laughs> if you if you're on the beach. And you Fuck see off. a girl wearing a seashell bra, right? And you pick her up and you put her real close to your ear. You, you can, can hear, hear her scream. scream. <laughs> hey, Dave. Yeah. I have to tell you to fuck off, please. Oh, word. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Zach, do you have a connection with this as well? Because, like, you seem to take that uh, he real was, personal. He, he was trying to tell this to his girlfriend or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. Not, I was why? <laughs> Just didn't, what, yeah, why the fuck? That's a okay. terrible idea. So, <laughs> she likes poorly placed jokes. Uh, she does. But um, the, the Here, thing- Here's the deal. She calls Asian Mike creepy Mike, and she calls me cool Dave. Anybody what that the? thinks I am cool in 
any frame of well, reference. I, th- I think you're cool, Dave. Well, also, but you I have an not idea. messaged her randomly but, with no reasoning behind it. Oh, your hands are really fucking dark. I've been at a drift event all day. Yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense, <laughs> man. But back to the joke. The reason why I was heard it before is I do work for Dave. I don't know if that was said before. I get to see his beautiful face every morning, even if it's sometimes not beautiful when he's pissed off in the morning because he's hangry. I love you, Dave, so much. Please don't fire me. You're fired until Monday. It's that a boy. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I, I just don't want to pay you for weekend overtime. That's all. Just but um, it's fun working with Dave. He says that. He says. Yeah. He's actually reluctantly me at work. He told me to say that. It's it was a little forced. Uh, amazing. Yeah. It's okay. I took him belt shopping the other day. Made him pay for it. Yeah. Beat the shit out of him with it in the parking lot. <laughs> That's how you do it. Never go belt shopping. Nice. Uh, can, can we give a shout out? Can we give a shout out to Sally Fields' ass? In Smokey. We're watching Smokey and the Bandit instead of listening to Ryan Celsius or just have some other random shit going on in the background. We got Sheriff Buford T. Justice over here. Ah, uh, Jackie Gleason going as racist <laughs> as his life will allow. That God is no damn. way you sprung from my loins. <laughs> when I get home, remind me to punch your mama in the mouth. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, so problematic, but so good. <laughs> what a different time it was. Rest, rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. Uh, yep. All right, P, that beautiful man. You, you were a good man. <laughs> yep. You were a good man. Oh, God. Is, is, Sally, is Sally Field still with us? She is. She's the only Sally. major component of this movie Good still alive. God. Yeah. So, that poor woman. So, listen, there's a great <laughs> Burt Reynolds story <laughs> that I feel needs to be shared. Oh, boy. Was it so, from Archer? Late on us. No, it is not from Archer, and I'm not sure if... I want to say Brandon might have heard this, but I'm just guess basing that purely on, you know... The man of many things. Exactly. Just being Brandon. So... <laughs> <laughs> so back in the day, Burt Reynolds used to date Lonnie Anderson, and the National Enquirer was just writing all sorts of nonsense about them. So like you do exactly. And Burt Reynolds had a ranch, and he had like a hundred horses. He also had a helicopter. Oh, so what he did one morning, like in December, they had a. They had a big Christmas tree, like, bigger than the one at, you know, Rockefeller Center, you know? Kind of, you know, the nation's de facto Christmas tree. Right, yeah. So, uh, he was not a huge fan of what they were writing about him and uh, Miss Anderson, and he was not a huge fan of the fact that they had a bigger Christmas tree than the one in New York. So, him, some of his ranch hands, took, like, a big thing of netting and just piled horse shit in there. Oh, and they hooked it up to the helicopter, and he flew oh, no. to the National Enquirer building. Oh no! And dumped all of it onto the Christmas tree. Oh my God! I have not heard this story, but let us all raise a glass. In raise a bottle. Yes. Of an absolute badass who dumped horseshit on the National Enquirer. There you go, Burt Reynolds. This is to you. Yes, I'll drink to that. You're yes. the real man. Uh, for anybody who's curious where I heard that, I heard it from Burt Reynolds on the Dan Levitard show. So, Perfect. Yes, Dan Levitard from the horse's mouth, mouth, as it were. Yep, as opposed to the horse's ass. Beautiful. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, perhaps it came from both ends. At uh, this point, who knows? Who are we to judge? Exactly. I mean, I just, I just got to give a mad shout out to Burt Reynolds for doing things that 1979 Pontiac Trans Ams did not do from the factory. Nope. They were not a speedy car. No. They were not speedy cars. Wait, they so do not jump not... like chargers. Yeah, I was going to say, did, not, did they not catch air over broken bridges? Uh, Them Duke boys uh, is in a whole heap of trouble again in Hazard County. I mean, oh, the, wait, wrong TV show. I mean, uh, in a 79 and Trans another Am, coronet cop car into the drink. In a, in a 79 <laughs> Trans Am, Atlanta to Texarkana and back might take 28 hours. I mean, if you pull over and gamble at every gas station <laughs> on the way, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, uh but back to Sally Fields ass. I mean, I mean that's what started the tangent. Peak and Sally. my goodness, what an ass it is. It Sally mean, Field seeing, at the peak of her powers. I mean, she was definitely at the peak of her powers there. Yes, sir. Yep. Seeing uh, uh some of these like in car driving shots kind of do remind me of like when I'm driving with other people. Yeah, oh, like er- early yeah. on in the series in the movie. Mm-hmm. When she's like freaking when she's in her wedding dress just freaking out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh yeah, I've 
had that before. So beautiful women take off their wedding dresses in your car frequently? No, no, no. Are, are you sure? They're definitely, most definitely keeping their clothes on. Uh, that so sounds like you fortunate. need to grow a mustache. So you're saying the Forester's <laughs> not really doing it for him? I mean, I'm thinking about like the GT350 and like the other cars I've driven. Here's the thing: well. you need to trade in that Forester for a 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. I bet my car's faster. <laughs> I bet it's not. It's probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your Forester weighs about the same and has roughly the same horsepower. Here's the difference: and that thing turbo. has that thing has a Peterbilt's worth of torque. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also got much, much worse panel fit and finish. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, you you got to think. That thing was probably built on a Thursday evening as the coffee pot was empty. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Friday afternoon right before lunch. Got to go polish off my three union-mandated beers. That's one of the things you, you're weekend. like, <laughs> you're, boy. you're tearing apart the driver's door panel to replace a window regulator that you knew GM was going to fuck up to begin with. Came and of the course, they pop riveted in there, right? Because right. Why but not? as you're but as you're taking the door panel off, you find a Bud Light and what was left of a uh, a, a pickle. <laughs> oh, I was going to say a can of chew. Oh, I was going to say a roach. Wow, but... damn! I was going to say that ten millimeter wrench that you lost. <laughs> no, this is America. We don't do tens. Oh, no, that's a three eighths motherfucker. Yeah, get it right. God damn. Although uh, to be fair, I am that kind of guy who uses metric tools on Crown Victorias. Well, you know, yeah. all work the same. If it gets a job done, I mean, man. close enough. Yeah. If it fits, it fits. Good enough for horseshoes, hand grenades, and my mother's fudge. <sighs> or government work. Damn. Oh, yeah. Close enough doesn't even begin to describe <laughs> government work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ask me how I know about that one. You are Likewise. a government subsidized employee. Oh, God. I should have been fired long ago. But you know what? <laughs> the fact that I show up. Not here's, terribly late every day has somehow blessed me with a job. Here's the thing. I feel you if the one. rest of the government agencies can get away with attaching precision instruments with unibits and self-tappers, <laughs> I think you can you can handle a government job <laughs> yep. just by showing up. Unibits yep. and self-tappers aren't the answer to everything? No, duct tape's in there, too. Gavin, is that the last black diamond wing? No, there's one more. Okay. But that is a black diamond wing. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I, I, I know what I'm getting into. Okay. I know what I'm about. Yeah. Oh, by the way, shout out to uh, Wing Coop. Uh, oh, man, Wing Coop coming in Word. clutch. Coming in real clutch. Oh, with hashtag that. sponsor us. Got the All-American, so that's uh, 50 wings, five sauces, and three sides. Man, it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Wing Coop. Yep. Also, I mean, shout out, you know, hashtag sponsorship, because yeah, you I, know. I did the 11 challenge in 2012. That you did. There's video proof of it. Yeah. There's a three-part series on Vimeo. Yes. Of of me pretty much draining the life out of my soul. Oh, God. And then you guys dumped me in the basement of Trent's house. We re- Trent's basement slash my my studio apartment. Your, your then studio apartment, yes. Uh, we that was before children. We should have recorded that because literally we dragged you down there and tried to put you on my bed. You, you guys, but you then you put me face down on your mattress and I slid slowly off the bed onto the floor. Well, I remember the first time we tried to get you on there, we didn't quite get you all the way. No, up. you guys, and you, you guys bounced like, off a little bit. You like one, two, three, hefted me up, <laughs> and then realized real Bonk. quick and in a hurry that I was about seventy pounds heavier than you anticipated. Yep. And and so I just kind of hit the mattress and fell back off. Yeah, we then decided to take you off of the mattress because, yeah. And we also turned your head to the side because that's what got Hendrix. No, oh, man. So Not was this it. in the days before we diver- deserved the kindness of somebody buys you a box of creamies when you're dumb enough to step up for an 11? Okay, here's the thing. I deep-throated every single one of those creamies. It was creepy. <laughs> and it still wasn't enough. It was not enough. I drank what? Like three quarters of that gallon of milk you had in your in your mini fridge? No, it was a half gallon. You oh, it was drank a half the whole gallon. thing, and I, I drained it. Okay, yeah. I had enough dairy in me to 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 you... fake that I was a cow. <laughs> yeah, you pounded a half gallon at two percent. It was not enough. I will admit to my lack of manliness. If my kid brother tried an eleven, and yeah. I took one finger swipe of the sauce, and decided that was never for me. Oh yeah, no, I. Like, they had the little, like, tasting spoon. I tried a little bit of it. Yeah, decided that wasn't for me. And then I remember after, I can't remember, I think it was after a rally sport meet, uh, me, Bobby, uh, Carly, and a couple other, 
my friend Bobby Fritz and his lovely wife Carly, mm-hmm. and a couple other friends. I can't. I'm like their names are escaping me right now, but we, we all want to see their faces. Yes, God. Um, yeah, uh, we went up to uh, Wing Coop, and uh, they, you know, somebody's just like, oh well, I want to try the eleven sauce, so you know, but he wanted a little like a little cup of it. You know, like a little ranch cup of it. So they put like a little bit in there, and we ordered the little fried jalapeno wheels they have up there, which are great, by the way. Oh yes, yeah, but not when you take one of the big seedy ones with you know the membrane still in there. Oh yeah, yeah and then dunk it the... wholesale oh. in the eleven sauce. Oof. Jesus, why? I had to walk him next door to the Dan's so he could get some milk. He needs some milk. Mistakes were made. Wow, it would be great if we had a soundboard with that effect Gee, on it. Gee whiz. Now, do we need to start Julian sampling Smith this stuff so I can... Uh, can I get some milk? Oh, uh, man. Get some milk. Oh, my God. That was not supposed to happen. Nope. <laughs> it's all right. We're trying. We're, we're trying. Learning curve. We're trying the soundboard thing. He needs some milk. There, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Nailed it. Now we... God about, assuming, about 42 seconds past the target. Listen, we're doing better than we were with Trent. You're right. We are. Uh, Fuck you, Trent. Trent, who's down in... Uh, Damn. Trent, who, much like my brother, is taking advantage of the fact that it is a UEA weekend. Oh, right. That's right. People with kids. Yeah, so Trent's down camping with uh, the family in Moab. My brother is in Colorado. So his cat has been coming to me for any modicum of love and affection. And it has been... Quite annoying most days. Pat me with your eyes. <laughs> Love me. Love me, but don't. No, stop it. Too no. much. God damn it. Three pets and three pets exactly, and then I will bite. <laughs> she doesn't bite. She just like, yeah, Charlene, the fat arthritic cat. She's she's a delight. She's at least a pretty kitty. She is a very pretty kitty. But, yeah, no, she is... She's starting to get a little adventurous. She wants to come outside now, which is not not a game for her. <laughs> she's a bit she's a bit long in the tooth, if you will. Also, declawed <laughs> in the front. So, which before anybody wants to get real pissy, my brother and his girlfriend they rescued her. She came like that, like fair enough. Fair so enough. they didn't make I mean, that decision. Change with time. Yeah, but like they didn't. You know, they didn't have her declawed. She just came that way. So sometimes it's necessary for the cat, anyways. Yep. So anyway. Uh, but yeah, she keeps wanting to come outside when I leave her work in the morning. Uh, she she's been getting bold and coming down here, just poking her head down. Nice. And then as soon as That's I ballsy, and as soon as I stand up, I hear her waddle up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, she's she keeps wanting to come into my bedroom, which is uh, also a no go because uh, yeah, my girlfriend is allergic to cats, so I'm trying to keep as much dander away from my things as possible. But uh. Yeah, yep. it'll happen. Yep. Oh, well, whatever. Yep. Oh, God in heaven. Can I just remark on how Bodie a 79 TA is? Yeah. And and the incredible road-holding prowess of the Pontiac sedan that is uh-huh. uh, in pursuit. Oh, yes. My goodness. Man. Full of valuable evidence. <laughs> uh. It's like they were built on the same platform. Right. And there is a lot of lowercase a acting going on in this movie. Lowercase a. <laughs> yes. I like it. Not quite B. It's it's not acting. It's acting. Acting. Got it. Acted. Were it any more wooden, we could take it up back and build a shed. Yep. Good we God. could burn it for heat if we needed to. Hey, Man. you know, life hack. Sign yourself up for as many things in the mail as possible. Ha. Have them sent to a large P.O. box. Empty that P.O. box every time you go to your cabin in the woods and burn that shit all winter. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Life hack. There it is. Perfect. That's a legit life hack. That that like there's no snide like ass backwards like thing in that. No. No. Just like literally burn somebody else's paper because they wanted to send it to you. Yeah. Oh, uh There you go. This is apropos of absolutely nothing. Uh talk to Stucky today at the uh, drift event. Yes. Um I need to get some stickers cut because a friend of the program, Alex Crane, his car is going to be at one of those big uh, after SEMA car shows. Oh, fantastic. So he wants a couple slaps, but I am, you know, having Stucky cut some more. So, uh, Excellent. They're, they're all going to be red. So if you want some uh-huh. and you like red, 
Come find us. Beautiful. Got to distribute them. Uh, Got to distribute them evenly. And uh, yeah, I have a use for red stickers. There we go. Yeah, same Perfect. deal. Perfect. Same deal applies. One for three, two for five. Okay, there it is. Yeah, man. I mean, we need cam stickers on everything. Yes, we do. Agreed. Absolutely everything. My Subaru is a little lacking in the cam department. Well, there we go. We'll get you a sticker for the Subaru. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. I'll, I mean, I'll banner that shit up for you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, we got them on the uh, on the pod table. Got yep. an old, got an old school gold one on the uh, mini fridge there. Yes, we do, and it is amazing. An yep. OG, OG. Oh yeah, that is that's that's like ground zero. Well, actually, the most OG one is. So I'm not sure if Trent has any on any car that he has. He still currently has. I know he had one on uh, the Tundra, but I ha- I found a legit old school red Cam Auto Mag. Dot com sticker. Whoa. Slapped it on the back of the mini minivan. And uh, Travis Williams and Toby Crawford from Make Some Models, they have the, uh, you know, the discount tire Mustang that they race out at NASA. Oh, yes. It still has two silver Lumen Sign Cam Auto Mag stickers on the A-pillars. Wow. Beautiful. So yeah. Out, out of the drift event Beautiful. today. Black Z car. Yeah. Uh, oh, Basim. Yes, yeah. Basim. On his front bumper, where he normally he says he normally hides it with his license plate. Dead center. Yep. Dead except center. When, big white cam yep. license plate sized cam sticker. I just yep. about fell over. Except, saw that except when he goes to the track, then yep. license plate comes off and he shows it off. I have plenty of shots of him going over the top of the attitudes, like I'm shooting from the inside, the you know, top of the attitudes. Him yeah. just going over the curbing, cam auto mag right there. So, you see that picture? That's not Photoshop, folks. Nope. That, that is, is a legit sticker. Yep. It is amazing. It's good shit. I may shit. be mistaken, but doesn't Joey have an original CamAdamag.com on the Vobel, the 740? Uh, no. He had some of the uh, the script, like the red uh, vinyl on clear stuff. I haven't, I haven't looked at it recently. Yeah, that's, that's what I've got on the Outback. Yeah, that's what a lot of people had because I ordered a shit ton of them and then yeah. realized I couldn't sell them. Right. So, yeah. Not right, yeah. And I think, actually, the uh, the F-150 I sold to Trent's sister? Maybe? I think it might. I had an original Cam Automag sticker on that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Bobo Yeoman. He sent me a picture of, like, I can't remember what kind of car it was, but there was, like, a, a scared, angry chihuahua in the passenger seat, but on the windshield, Cam Automag sticker. Beautiful. It was great. And uh, I That's think amazing. Shout out to Bobo, by the way. Yeah, right. I don't even know if he listens to this, but I don't know. But yeah, shout out to Bobo. Yeah, for doing things for being an OG. Yeah, man, going on adventures on his motorcycle. Man, we know him from way back, Honda so and way such. Back. Also, dude, we know from way back who I invited to come to this thing, but may or may not show up. Uh-huh. Uh, Pumpkin. Oh yeah, he's yeah. got. I, I saw bo- a Slam Subaru, uh, a Bug Eye WRX down in the bottom of the, the you know the street yeah. over there, and I thought Damn. for sure it was him. No, uh, but. No, he. I believe he has an OG, you know, the Lumen sign. Right. You know, like if you go far enough back, like you know, go to camautomag dot com. Go to the bottom. You know, it's got the numbers of the pages and everything. Go all the way back to the beginning. There you will see the OG ass logo, mm. and some of the stuff we tried right at the beginning, stuff that didn't really fly. Oh God. I mean, some of it worked, some of it didn't. A lot of it didn't. But the, the stuff that worked really worked, and we're still doing it today. That's okay. You know, it's it's like it's like having pickle races at McDonald's. Exactly. I mean, sometimes some things stick to the glass, and sometimes other <laughs> yeah. things just hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I believe uh, Pumpkin has one of the OG Lumen Sign uh, stickers in purple on the back of his WRX. Amazing. So yeah, yeah. If you have one of those OG stickers on your car still, and you still have it, yo. Send us a photo. Let us know. I am super curious. Actually, you know, if you just have a cam sticker of any kind, yeah, hit us, us up. Know. Like, tag us in a picture. Yeah, like we're we're at Cam Auto Mag on all the social media. I think the recommended thing to do is post it to social media. Just tag us. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. show everyone it's else. Show your helpful. friends. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, show it off, man. Own it. Yeah. I, I got to get the. The hot wheel wing on the car, because when you get the reds in, I'm putting. I got a black hot on the wing going on the Miata, and it's going right on the end plates. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Uh, that's a good spot for it. That's, Brandon, when are we going to make that car all one color? Never. Um, when it has fenders that are straight. Okay. And a there front bumper. Got it. Yeah. I mean, you have the front bumper. I gave I, it I to do. you. I just need to put it yeah. on. Okay. Can you just have the Harlequin Miata? 
Um, it pretty much I mean, is. It could. Yeah. You can make I mean, that a thing. I mean, it's it's no front bumper. It's got one gray fender. One black fender. One black fender. Top is black. No hood. hood. Is blue. Well, well, when the hood is on it, the hood when is the blue. When the hood's on, it's blue. The mirrors are red. Okay. Um, the filler panel between the taillights are blue. Yep, that's you blue got that to match the, the hood. Same car as um, the hood. Yeah. I'm, some I'm the sensing some green. need for yellow. The former hood was yellow. The ori- yeah, the hood okay. I the hood I I gave him with the car was a a bright like sunburst yellow hood that had like the new Mazda logo on it. It oh, came okay. off of another like spec Miata. Oh, okay. And so I had hood pins and you know nasty locations and this that and the other. And yeah, it was on my friend Irvin's. Uh, Miata, uh, we were out cruising around, dicking around one night, and he popped the hood to check a couple of things and didn't put the pins back in all the way, and they vibrated loose. And we're doing, like, 95 Hunt Bangerter. Oh, no. And he's just cruising along and suddenly yellow. And so it, it like, folded up and over the windshield. (laughs) He said it, like, almost hit him. Oh, my God. But it did not break the windshield. No shit. It did not, not break even the a windshield. crack. Yeah, not a crack, not a spider, not a chip. Holy shit! It flew is... up at like ninety. Wow. Damn. Yeah, it, it it really is a scab car. The, the joke is, it is three and a half cars. It's, it's about, about to be four and a half. About three and two half cars. Yeah, it's going to be. It's a conglomeration. It's, it's it's a it's a fun car. I'm really glad that I sold it to somebody who has. A, a lot of a lot of love and devotion to it. Uh, this car is more well. I mean, fun. Tell, you, you got to tell the story. I mean, you used to talk shit on these cars, so, right? So I graduated high school in two thousand when the NA had just ended. So in high school, the NA was a thing, and I used to mock them. I, I was a old school Chevy big block, you know, no replacement for the place. pussies. Motorized roller skate, and not very motorized at that. Right, wow. exactly. And so I got my hands on one, and I'm, I kind of looked sideways at myself, but it's not the first small car I've had. So, Right. I mean, you're familiar with you know the Volkswagen, the old air cools. Yeah, I've got a, a Carmen Ghia sitting right. in the garage. That, so I got a hold of this one from Dave because the price was right, and it was going to do what I wanted it to. And So I drive it in the two-day drift event. First time I've had a chance to drive it. We got the thing started an hour before the event. And... The event's a Friday and a, it was Saturday and a Sunday. Yep. And so Tuesday, I'm driving home from work, and I call Dave, and it's, we need to get the car street legal and plated. It's like, what? <laughs> I says, I missed that stupid car already. I want to drive it. <laughs> yep. So, and then today we're out driving at the drift event, and every time he's like, so how's it doing? How you doing? And he can see my grin through the chin bar on my helmet. Oh yeah, I knew you were smiling like a jackass I, before I even asked the question. That that car is more fun than God allows, <laughs> and it's still not even where it needs to be. But it's just big, dumb fun in a little tiny car. I mean, you know, being you know ha- being the owner of a Carmen Ghia, you already know what it's like to have a lot of fun with like fifty horsepower. This is the most fun you can have with like eighty horsepower. Thirty six horsepower factory in that gear when it left Germany. Dude. Okay, damn. All right. Yeah, not enough power to get out of its own way. So we have essentially doubled your fun. Oh, at least. Yeah, at least. And I can't wait until we get that thing put together this winter. And we we got some good things. We're, we're going to have fun horizon. coming off the chain. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So basically, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to build the car the way I originally was planning to. Yeah. Just Brandon's financing it. Well, oh, okay, cool. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dave well, and, and I had kicked was... this plan around when it was Dave's car. We had talked about what we were going to do to this stupid right, car. Right, exactly. And it, it's it's hilarious that, you know, we're just kicking around in the junkyard. And uh, I, I actually remember uh, I was walking through the junkyard with Matt, and I saw this blue NB Miata. It was a facelift NB, so I knew it was, it was at least an 01. Right. And, uh, and so I, I walked over to it, and it had a stick. And so I... I Instantly, I stuck. I, you know, took a few steps back. I snapped a picture and I sent it to Brandon. And I said, "Hey, O2 Miata, pick and pull, or pull and save, or wherever it was." Yeah. And he's you like, know. he looks underneath uh, and torsen diff. Which I, I, I was, thought, well, I figured, you know, it's an O. I looked at it a little bit and I was like, "Okay, it's a limited. It's got like the, it's got the Nardi steering wheel. It's got the leather. It's got a lot of options." And so I was thinking, oh, you know what? It's it, it's a well optioned car. It's going to have a torsen diff. So I. Snapped him a picture and I sent it to him and said, "Hey, this thing's probably got a diff. You know, it's over here at the at the junkyard." 
And so we made a plan a few days later to go, you know, yank the diff out during a weekend. And uh, we showed up. We pulled it. it pulled Surprisingly, the, it was still there. Pulled the diff. In the, the car was intact. The car Nobody was a, had attacked this car. Yeah, it was It was a a almost entirely stock car. Somebody put some white face gauges on it, and it had a start button from an S2000 in the center yeah, console. Yeah, it, it had been rolled, but that was, I mean. Yeah, it had been rolled, but it was still a structurally sound car. And so we were looking at it. And, rolled such. The steering wheel was on damage. Airbags not deployed. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it, it, was, it was probably a pretty soft roll, all things considered. There was not a lot of body damage. Like kind of a joking, friendly roll. Yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, I said, hey, you know, yeah, we should, you know, we should pull this diff. And so I went the evening before we were slated to go. It was like a Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Uh, Mike and I had got off work a little early. And so I ran over, I checked it out, I spun the drive shaft and both wheels turned forward. So I'm like, hey, you know what? We got ourselves a torsion, you know, so, uh. I told him, I said, hey, you know, it's a go. I've checked it out. It's ready to, ready I got to pull. It's still from the there. wire. She said, yeah, go buy it. Yeah. And it was going to happen. And you know, when, when wifey says, yeah, you just got to do it. Oh, uh, wifey yeah. said, yeah, to a lot today at the drift event, too. So that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. I'll she tell did. that story once we get done with this. Story, yeah. Cause... And so it, it was great. So the next morning, you know, we come rolling deep, tools and blazing, you know, we. We grabbed the diff out of that thing, and we were looking at it like, oh, "Do we want anything else?" Yeah, I'm taking the steering wheel because it's a complete steering wheel. Yeah, exactly. It was a it was it was a nice ND facelift, yeah, the, Nardi the... steering wheel. Well, you know, a little bit larger, I think, than the stock wheel. Same, oh, is it the same size, okay. same diameter. Okay. It, I thought it was a little larger too, but I laid them face to face. And, oh, same size. Yeah, but Perfect. it has the center piece and everything, so it looks pretty. And, awesome. Uh, and then we're sitting in the car, and Dave's like. Reverse isn't where it's supposed to be. Well, yeah, because I, I was I was oh. looking at it, and, and I was like, well, we were under it. And I said, that does not look like a five-speed. It looks a little beefier. It's got some extra ribs and yeah. such. And so I said, hey, chase the gears real quick. And he said, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and there's reverse. And I get looking at the knob, and it, it had, like, you know that little layer of like hand grease that yeah. Yeah. that every used car gets. Yep. Right. Well, it's covering the shift pattern on so, the shift yeah. knob. So I kind of rubbed my thumb over it, and I thought I saw a six. So I rode through it again: one, two, three, four, five. And what I thought was reverse. Yeah. I pushed it back to neutral and forced it all the way to the right, and it went one more to ten to over. Oh, into Hello. reverse. Uh, yes, and then all of a sudden. He had my interest and my attention. Indeed. Oh, and so I said, "Hey, uh, hey, B, you think think you can uh, think you can swing a transmission too?" And, and I talked nice to the wife, and we we planned to go on half price Wednesday, mm-hmm. yep. so I could afford this trans. Exactly. There you go. And unfortunately, my work schedule is such that I can't get to the junkyard before about four o'clock. Yeah, and that particular junkyard closes at four thirty. Four thirty five o'clock. So I think right. I was I might have been there at like three thirty. But either way, right? Exactly. We were we were fighting the clock, so. As we're fighting clock with it was me and Dave and we ran into our friend Matt, which was yep. Andy. That so because um, Matt we we went looking for an engine picker because we're like we got to lift this thing up so we can break it out. And we found an engine picker and Matt. Well, yeah, there you go. So Matt came over and helped us lift this engine out and we ran up against the clock and we're like, well, screw it, we're kind of in a bind here because we want this trans but we can't get it off the engine. So I called right, my we, wife and I says, uh, yeah, honey. we were, we were pulling the motor out at like. 4.58. It was like Ooh. on the dot. Yeah. We, were, we were coming down to the wire. It was like, honey, um, so good news, bad news. It's half price Wednesday, but I'm bringing an engine home. <laughs> I had been explicitly told not to bring an engine home. Well, there was much forgiveness begging done, but yeah. short story, long story short, there is a, it was a complete 1.8 VVT oh. head, which threw a wrench in some of the other plans because I was just going to put a micro squirt in it, but can't do turbo and micro squirt. Mm. So, but yeah, no, so well, not without a bunch of extra work. Yeah, it's, it's just more work. It's cheaper to put a yeah, it's, yeah, it's easier to buy the. Yeah. So, engine and trans come home. So now we have a 1.8 engine, six speed trans, torsion diff. Nice. Yeah, we we pretty much robbed that car, and it oh. was hilarious because it was in the yard for a was about little a bit week. over a week. It was about a week because hmm. there had been a post in Utah Modified Miatas. About, you know, hey, there's this, if anybody's interested. And I kind of breezed past it because I really wasn't thinking about buying parts. And then we got a hold of it. And yeah, I, so then there's uh, somebody posted up, is it still there? Well, 
the body is. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of good parts left. Yeah. What, what about the engine and trans? Nope. I know where they are, and you can't have them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have had offers on that engine. I'm like, no, I kind of want that engine. I yep. plan on buying it at this point in time. Yep. So. I've, I've pretty much, you know, planted the seed on, on, uh, on Brandon here that unless somebody is paying for an LS swap in that car, yeah, it's going to stay a 1.8 and a 6-speed. 1.8, 6-speed. I've got a turbo and a manifold to go into it. Uh, yeah, and you've been – so the whole – the whole premise of the Miata for you has been just cheap fun. Balling on a budget. Absolutely. So we got a parts car for free <laughs> that had, a, oh, it was like, what, the 10-pound the race top? 13 pounds. 13 pounds. It's all fiberglass. Priced. It's got the plexiglass rear window. It had a torsion diff, all the 1.8 stuff already. Cut dash that we wanted, an intact wiring harness. Yeah, so literally everything that was wrong with the car that I sold him when we sold it is now getting slammed together with this free parts car. So shout out to Renato, Renato Garnet, yeah. you know who you are. Man uh, among men. Y- indeed. Indeed. So, um, but yeah, pick this thing up for free. Cost to get it. it out of my garage. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It was the come get it out of the way because, you know, I don't want it owner abandoned it and so we got a whole bunch of good stuff off of it and then you know you got a 20 dollar turbo manifold you got a 20 dollar turbo you you, you had mean, half price wednesday on the motor and trends i this car literally okay i am into this car i kid you not fifteen hundred dollars including the engine and trans that aren't in the car yet hot damn <laughs> i mean so and then we get it out to the drift event today and my wife has come and observed a drift event or two she's never seen me drive she, the last time she, she finally came put out. a helmet on she, she last time she came out, we blew the we blew the water up before she got there. Mm-hmm. So she shows up just as we're entering the small course today, and tossing it around. Yeah, we get her in the car, and I make a few passes through the small course, having fun. And I look at her, and she got a real weird look on her face. And I'm like, "Are you okay? Do I need to pull off?" And she just says, "That was damn fun." Huh. Okay, another round. So as we're sitting waiting to cue off the other round, she's like, "I see why you want buckets in this car." <laughs> yep. So I you pretty much slide have, around and stock me. I pretty much have authorization for buckets. Nice. And then I think it was after she got a ride with Dave in the car because I was off doing something else. Mm-hmm. She comes back and says, "So I guess we're buying me a helmet now." Yep. All righty. Nice. So, I mean, there you go. Drifting so, is addictive. First hits free. Yep. <laughs> the rest costs you your soul. Exactly. And and now wife's on board. Wife is on board. And so now, that that makes it easy for me so, because then I don't have to apologize. No. And see, she had, or her dad had, an N.A. Miata back in the early 2000s. So she drove one quite a bit. And, yeah, and she's a bit of a hot shoe herself. Uh, very much so. <laughs> nice. I mean, I, I, I should never have bought the woman a forced induction vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she, she daily drives a supercharged hybrid Pathfinder. Nice. Oh, shit. And if the roads <laughs> yeah. are the slightest bit wet and she doesn't lock in all-wheel drive, she lights the fronts up. <laughs> nice. She, Hell yeah. She finds boost in a hurry. There you go. Nice. <laughs> There's a reason that she drives the middle section of the run to Vegas because it's 80 miles an hour and she goes for substantially more. <laughs> yeah. But, but she also figured out that a Corolla S at 100 miles an hour will get 45 miles to the gallon. Going down a hill. No. Oh. Climbing South Pass in Wyoming. Well then. I w- so, uh, hold on. What? An 05 Corolla S. I'm calling shenanigans. I could probably still find the receipts. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. It did. For, it got Prius mileage at 100 miles an hour. Damn. That's insane. It was the most absurd car. Perfect for everything except deer hunting. <laughs> that was legitness. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like that was very well placed. Yes, it was. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I... I, that car died when I hit a deer with it. So, Aww. I mean, you but know, that car was absolutely these, these fun. Happened. Yep. Did it well, die you know. alongside the deer? Uh, pretty sure. I didn't find the deer again, but I, I mangled the car. It was. I mean, at least it didn't, you know, happen like when I drove my Jetta off Old Snow Basin. You know, I, I swerved to miss a deer and went off the road, bounced off a bunch of things in the process. Mm-hmm climb out the passenger window of my car, which is now upside down on the sunroof, and, you know, climb out just in time to watch that magnificent bastard hopping away. Son of a bitch. It's times like that where you wish you had a Glock. 
Yeah. <laughs> I would have dumped a magazine on that little fucker. Yeah. Oh, my God. So my dad's gotten, <laughs> my dad's gotten into guns, right? Oh. Oh boy! Like real late in life, he just got into guns. It's just it's sometimes a turn that happens when you hit a certain age. One yeah, of other expensive it does. Hobbies, so. <laughs> and so he, I mean, part of it has come from. Um, is he into guns out of enjoyment, or is he into guns because he's sick of this shit? Enjoyment. Okay, cool. Okay. A lot of it is actually from hand me downs. <laughs> You're safe. Yeah, from hand me downs. Uh, he actually uh, inherited. Um, do you guys are you familiar with? Okay. Brent, yeah, yeah. Said, Brandon's a gun guy. The rest of us are like, oh, that's cool. It blows we, holes in things. We are. He has a, 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 a <laughs> Savage from 1919. Good God damn, sir. Yeah, it shoots. Oh, yeah. I've got a few. I've got a couple things that yeah, roughly he, that old. Uh, those I, Savages are very nice at that age. It shot kind of like it worked, but then it, it, it would jam. And so he tried to clean it out himself. And uh, he's... Go under, it's undergoing more thorough cleaning. It, yeah, at that age, the, car, the, or the the gun was made ninety nine years ago. That's part it's of it, been, and it, part of what they use to preserve military rifles like that is handgun. Oh, he oh he's handgun. got a savage handgun. Okay, yeah, same principle. He's the same. It's a grease. Uh, it's called Cosmoline. Okay, and imagine very bad, gross, burned bearing grease. Okay, got gotcha. you. And. Generally, when we get Cosmoline out of rifles, you bake it out. Or you use okay. oven cleaner, but oven cleaner can strip the finish. It is yeah. a very – it's it's a very nasty material, but it's a wonderful preservative. Right. So okay. there's probably some of that. The gunpowders they were using at the time were very hygroscopic, which they, they attract water, so things oh, rust. Things. Yeah. It's, it, it's – they were very dirty. Interesting. Well, so, yes, very much. And having a professional clean an arm of that age is also because if you don't clean a gun that it's old. It's a fucking right, 100 years old. It, <laughs> yeah. Well, if you don't clean a gun that old correctly, you can destroy the value of it. Right. And I he mean, doesn't really care about the value. We, well, like, yeah. he does track it and, and but, just, just to see where it is. But, I mean, it's, it's also with repairs of a gun that old. I've got a shotgun yeah. about that age that I'm debating repairing. I'm going to find an antique smith okay. that can tell me whether fixing it would do more value damage. I wonder than... if you know the guy that my dad took his gun to. I don't know who he took it to. I can find I, out. I have no idea. Smith's down this way. I knew one old guy up in Ogden, but I think he's since retired. Oh, I could. Well, I can find out then. Shoo shoo that info. You should. I, I do most of my own work, but some of the antique stuff. Yeah. I I, I don't want to do heavy stuff on, but yeah, I've got a few that are about that age, and they're a lot of fun. Actually, at my wedding, I carried a Colt. Automatic that was made in 1913. Oh no way! Yeah, that's nice. cool. I, I shoot it very rarely, but it, it still runs. And it's nice. Um, I was getting at something with guns. <laughs> Your dad getting into them and coming up next on the uh, "This Is What I Carry" podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what day of the week is it? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, Dave. What what was I talking about? I, I don't know. I, I yeah. cannot. Squirrel. <laughs> You're uh, talking about your dad but, having a gun. Yeah, your dad has guns. Yeah, Papa that's, rolls strapped. Yeah, that's like really like <laughs> only like a couple though. Yeah. Um, oh, we we're talking about the deer and the Glock. Oh, yes, yes, got it. So there we did, go. So so he got a Glock 19. Wonderful. Um, piece. in like that sandy, uh, flat dark earth. Yep. Desert desert storm sort yeah, of fucking. They yeah. call it flat dark earth. Yeah. It's okay. That brown. Cool. Yeah. And so he got that, and he ca- it came with a 17 round clip, mm-hmm. a 19 round. Mm-hmm. And then he got a thirty-two. Yep. And the thirty-two is awesome because it just just sticks out about this far below the the, the end of the clip. There For the listener very, at home, it's about five inches. Yeah. There's a very That's rare this well, many. <laughs> it, it's rare in the U.S. because of date of introduction and vagaries of U.S. law. But there's a yeah. Glock Model 18. Okay. It is a fully automatic Glock pistol. <laughs> okay. There are very few ones legally okay. able to be owned by civilians in the U.S. due to vagaries of U.S. law that. You really don't want to hear me explain on a car show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But It'll be Dave. Yeah, so that, that's what that 33... <laughs> that's what that 33-rounder, 32-rounder, that's what it was designed for, and it's yeah. just become a real popular fun at the range because you oh, stick a magazine that's about that long in the tail end Oh, it's your hysterical, and, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they're fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah, so I'd love to just see Dave unload a clip of that 32-round. I See, I want to hand my Glock to Dave. I have a Glock that's in 10 millimeter. Oh. 
Oh, oh yes. Oh, ten millimeter is best millimeter. Okay. And I, I really, you know, it'd be hilarious to put together a cam shooting expedition because <laughs> I, I that mean, would be fun. I mean, y'all buy ammo, and I can <laughs> bring enough guns to take and hold a small third world nation like France. I mean. <laughs> The Walmart wow. sells it fucking Damn. real fucking cheap. <laughs> Some of it, yes. <laughs> I mean, on this cam bro camp adventure, small arms fire and woodland critters. <laughs> I think woodland critters target whatever. whatever. They have like a thousand rounds of thirty eight special. I think for like a thousand round crate of thirty eight special should cost you a couple hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. <laughs> a thousand rounds of nine millimeters about two hundred and twenty five bucks. Uh, same with a thousand rounds of five five six. Uh, a thousand rounds of ten millimeter. I've bought engines for less. Damn. The beauty of 10 millimeters, the price is incredibly stable. All right. All right. Follow us after the jump here. uh... (laughs) The ugly of 10 millimeter is it is not cheap. So. So are you guys suggesting I blow holes in things? Uh, If you want us to. Dave. Can we get just a line of beer cans at the the proof? Mailbag at (laughs) camautomag.com. If you want to see me blow holes in things. Comment below if you want us to go shooting. I have a spare Miata door. I'm in. Yeah. (laughs) I've I got, got a lot of spare parts for things <laughs> that I will never fix. I got fix. a bunch of TVs that I can't get rid of. Okay, the problem with shooting TVs okay, is here's they're messy. New $25 Patreon buy-in, right? Yeah. I put thermite on things. <laughs> also problematic, but I like where we're going. Okay. So, we, may need to, we may need to uh, bump that number up from 25 to something that may cost the, uh, at least cover some of the fines. 75 <laughs> I can expound on some of this off mic, but yeah, it's not as bad as you think. Yeah. Um, I also think Dave has some cars that might be going to the junkyard soon. This I've is... got a lot of cars that are going to the junkyard yeah. on a regular basis. This, this is, is our shooting do. car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get rid of this. This is our shooting car. It's our oh, gun car. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And when we say gun car, it's not the car with the turret. Nope. Nope. No. It's getting no, no, no. shot at. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Could one have... downrange. I have We're to turn it to fucking Swiss cheese. I have to get rid of a 96 Subaru in a particularly uneventful manner. <laughs> Can I have the rear diff before you do it? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, somebody else has already laid claim to that. Me? No, no, actually it was claimed before you, but then they came back out of the woodwork and said, hey, I still want it. <laughs> oh, shit. So, so you... Indian gave to somebody. What, what? Here's the deal. I thought they negated, so I said, "Well, if you come pull it, you can have it." <sighs> you never pulled it. <laughs> I did it. Person A came back into the frame and said, "I have renewed interest," and I said, "Cool, pull it, and it's yours." <laughs> so is so now it's it? a battle of whether Tyler at Shienja Racing pulls it before you do. Uh oh! I guess I'm grabbing a Milwaukee and a Sazon. Start cutting that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dice that shit, bud. Yeah. There we go. You Send know where it. the car's at. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and it's parked right next to a Miata. That oh I think, man! Uh, yeah, it's parked right next to my Miata. Yeah. The free parts Miata is yeah. not mine. Yeah. It's in close proximity to the '93 Mustang convertible that I now own. Thank you to Anthony Barnes of Seven Six Motors. Uh, shout out to Stepdad Barnes. <laughs> Stepdaddy Barnes and all uh-huh. his all his wonderful, <laughs> wonderful wisdom. I weekend. can't wait to see what he does with his half of that deal. Uh, yeah. Weekend dad Barnes. Yeah, so yeah, Barnes Barnes picked up my C ten, my yeah. seventy seven Chevy pickup. Yeah. And so uh what it was is uh yeah, his 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 lady, Stacy, she said, Hey, I, r- I really want one of those trucks. You should find me one. And lo and behold Lo and behold, I happen to have one with a for sale sign in it. Well hot damn. And some uh some some talking, some bartering, and some drunken shenanigans happened, and I came back with uh, money in my pocket and a Mustang. <laughs> well, all righty. Pr- pretty much what it was is I was paid for the truck, and we were good and clear. Yeah. We were drinking at the shop, and then I said, hey, I'll buy that Mustang off you for a couple hundred bucks. Well, there you go. And he said, you won't. <laughs> bet. <laughs> yeah. <it's> so <laughs> Fucking bet. I and then just in the background. Bet. <laughs> I hit that bet button and I rolled triple seven. So Ooh. bet, 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 <laughs> bet, 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 bet. Oh man! So now, now I have a drop top four cylinder automatic Mustang. Raindrop, drop top, <laughs> four cylinder Mustang. Exactly. I mean, you're gonna feel the raindrops through that drop top for sure. <laughs> Damn, that yeah, particular there's drop top for sure. <laughs> there is no back window. There's a handful of tears. 
the quarter windows do not roll up yet. Oh, really? Yet. It doesn't retract. No, it, it well, it doesn't retract by itself. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little I can move the, the switch for the top, yeah. and it makes noises, but nothing happens. Huh. So, like, 90% of the Mustang convertibles on the road. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. All I have to do is unlock it and push it. It's good. There you go. Your vanilla ice mode in sub-30 seconds. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, the other uh, generate that same Fox Buy that we know that has a drop top. I think that one also does not work. Oh, you mean Zach Petty's overpriced 5 piece of yes, shit? that one. Uh, I don't think that drop top works. Either. Trade for Fox Body? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, well. Here, I not to completely throw him under the bus, but he says miles are, are miles are approximate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, All here's, right. Here's here's the thing. You posted a video of the speedometer not working. Yeah. And to uh. the keen eye, it is a 140 mile per hour speedometer from a police issue Mustang, not the 85 mile per hour speedometer that would have been in that 50 car. Huh. So, 106,000 actual miles. Let me tell you why that's bullshit. <laughs> uh, Zach, you've been put on blast. You know how to come back at him. I just love these. Mailbag to... at camautomac.com. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that he's trying to sell my old Lexus for two thousand dollars with a blown head gasket. Uh, oh, did he pull the head gasket on it? Oh yeah. Oh shit. I've, I I I recall vividly him saying, "Yeah, the temp gauge is just under the H, but I think I'm going to send it for another lap." <laughs> Famous last words. That sounds like Tyler Hoovy. Oh shit. Damn. Which car? And Hoovy, <laughs> Hoovy knows exactly what it's like to burn something down on the side of the freeway. He, or from the track. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of Hoovy's Garage? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm his, which, car. Uh, which car? His uh, 996. Or his, do um, you see what he posted today? What he posted his today? His Viper that has bad head gaskets. Hey, nice. we know somebody with a Viper wow. that has bad head gaskets. Well, that's a fun story. Shock that's and Andy. awe. Isn't that every Viper ever? I mean, it might be. I yeah. mean... Well, I would want to state the fact that Hoobie did it himself. Yeah, and I'm about to do head gaskets on a Viper, too. Yeah, yeah. He's chirping and drive his happy ass from Seattle to do it. Chirp. Make it happen. Shots fired. Yeah. Thoughts shired. <laughs> Thoughts shired. You uh, won't. Wuss. Where the thought he's at? Drive your big block dually down here. Yeah. Bet you won't. I'll <laughs> even buy you wing coop, son. Oh. Uh, here, here's the deal. I got 50 bucks on it that you won't. Oh man, I'll you're, you you're either going to sucker bet. You're either going to drive the dually down here or you're going to drive the Mustang down here and I know which one's got plates on it. <laughs> I don't know. Last time he got brave and drove the Ruby down. Damn. <laughs> That's that okay fun. though. I mean the Ru- the Ruby's kind of the road trip mobile. Yeah. I don't know what we went to see, man. Yeah, exactly. He-, he needs to plate that Mustang because that is a road trip car. I mean, the Mustang is a get a ticket in every city or county on the road trip car. I'm assuming has it stopped eating water pumps? Probably not. All right. I don't think he's driven that car in about four years because he was waiting for it to make 25 so he could put vintage plates on it. Chirp, hit us up. Does that thing still have Celica seats in it? I hope it does. <laughs> I hope so, too. Yeah, you want remember, to send me the Coney Yellows? <laughs> I remember the first time I drove that car, the, the seat slider latch mechanism didn't uh-huh. work. So the first time I dumped the clutch in second gear, I ended up in the back seat. <laughs> that, uh, that car, first gear is the drift around town gear. It is useless. I remember the first time you let me drive that car, and it's like, put it in first, and I was like, wait, what? That car starts in third like most things start in first. Damn. Wow. It's pretty good stuff. It's a hilarious car, I drove man. A, I drove a, a K truck. K truck. K truck? K truck. Yeah. How do you want to pronounce it? Yeah, the first gear is literally, I think it's three miles an hour is what's rated to. And then second is just like, I think second gets you to 10. That sounds about like the old Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. I'll did a three-speed with a granny that <laughs> put it in four low and first and dump the clutch, and it's about a mile and a half an hour. <laughs> then you floor it, and it's a lot of noise and about a mile and a half an hour. Wow. Sounds about right. But you could climb a wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, definitely. I have no... I, Happened to have in my life been in all three examples with <laughs> friends and family that have had them. And, yeah. Ah, good stuff. Indeed. So, watching Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah, we're still watching Smokey and the Bandit. Has, has given me this insatiable desire to, one, drift a Trans Am. I want, I want to fire. Just doing the Lord's work. And, and, and two, I want to own 
in every color a 1978 Dodge Coronet cop car. Yeah. Also a cop thing we brakes, can make cop happen. shocks, cop suspension. Model built before catalytic converter, so it runs good on regular gas. This this might be a hot take. What? But this movie, and I haven't even been paying that much attention to it, but I've enjoyed this movie way more, and it's made me realize what a fucking piece of shit movie Bullet was. <laughs> yeah, Bullet. <laughs> it's a terrible movie. Greatest car chase of all time, my ass. Uh, it no. wasn't. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing no, about the original <laughs> Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah. Um, That's a car chase. How about the, was it Deadpool was the Dirty Harry one that had a car chase with the remote controlled bomb car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was it. through the streets of San Francisco. Yep. Well, I, I want to give a shout out to the opening scene of Cannonball Run. Good God. Yeah. Yeah. That black Countach with the front wing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm, and Plus Farrah one. Fawcett. Yes. Also Farrah Fawcett. Yes. Which shout out, shout, the shout out to her. That road sign. Ooh. Raise a beard of Farrah. Mm. There it is. Hey, did you guys see that in in one of his recent podcasts, he was wearing a V twelve lifestyle T shirt? Yeah, yeah. Matt Farah was. Matt yeah, Farah. Pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah, he yeah, was. Super, um, yeah. I, I I actually caught the live stream. Yeah, nice of it. And he, I, was, remember, I think I think it was you that posted a screenshot of it in I did. the chat. No, okay. I don't think so. I th- some somebody I posted Trent something did. about it. Trent messaged me. He was like, "Here are your two favorite things, or some shit." Uh being all weird. Look at them late seventies thotties. Mm, look at that. Yep. Damn girls. Ah. Uh, Say which one about bell bottoms to make the legs look long. She's got legs. All right. Calm down. <laughs> out out. I just want a blue gum drop on top of a seventy eight coronet now. <laughs> I want a blue gum drop on fucking everything. I like it. Ah. <laughs> uh, you need something that two hundred van. Done. Do it. <laughs> Get yourself. Get a, a cigarette lighter. Make it happen. Yeah. Get Go yourself light on a Mazda Miata. Get yourself the red gumdrop, and suddenly your entire life becomes the sabotage music video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. I know you planned it. I'm going to set straight this Watergate. Damn. Uh, Damn shout out y'all. to Nick Stuckey for owning a sabotage Crown Vic LTD. Oh, that was great. I remember when he brought it back. It was the only like out-of-state drift event I've ever gone to. Yep. I had just broken my arm. Uh-huh. <laughs> so... I'm up there trying to shoot this two-day event. It is the only Which time. arm? Uh, broke my left arm. Okay. Broke my left arm skating up to the store. I had a crack that I knew was there, but, you know, still hit it. Just couldn't dodge it. Yep. So. It yep. happens. Anyway. Yeah. And uh, Stucky was coming back. I love those colors on that truck. Right, they're amazing. Oh, so <laughs> so much Bronco? like is this a carby from the seventies? Uh, so the much glory like of the high boy. I'm I'm just saying, like this movie has the best of nineteen seventy nine. I'm so, so sorry to cut you off, but gold, oh. brown, weird greens, the red, red yellow, yellow, yeah, all the pastels. Oh, so flower many flower power. It's like that scene from um, Fast and Furious. Oh, Which scene? Cops, 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 oh, cops, yeah. cops. Everyone's yeah. like rolling out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but, Anywho, back to the, but back yeah, to the sure broken, so broken wing, taking yeah. pictures, yeah. two-day event. Yeah, so, you know, it's Sunday. Everybody's just kind of tired. Everybody's car's broken, you know, just kind of, uh, yeah, just time to go. And, uh, yeah, who rolls in but Nick, Nicholas J. Stuckworth the fourth. In the sabotage, <laughs> complete I, with the cage in the back. Yeah, nice. yeah, and I like yeah. how when he plated it here in Utah, it, the the license plate said sabotage. It was great. S a b o t g e. Yup. I mean, it, it's Stucky. I expect nothing less, and nothing surprises me. Uh, it's it's true. It's true. I, I mean, still think I have the cooler roommate. Julian is a worthy. Julian's a wonderful, Julie, glorious man. Yep, but, Julian's awesome. But you, you got to admit, Slayer's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and get him on a podcast. Well, yeah, we'll, oh, yeah. Dope. we'll have to... Uh, we'll just decide. record in my... We'll record in the living room. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I got two couches. We got a nice table. Way to flex, you know, Dave. This isn't wheel track just saying. Way to fucking flex. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just not saying, sure if I, you've I, noticed, I, but... Shit, really? Yeah. yeah, we're not exactly ADA compliant down here. No. I'd like to speak to... Um, job set foreman about that yeah well unfortunately this is still a house not a business so dave i mean this is a bar not a restaurant i I mean i am equipped to install a chairlift on your stairs if you would like yeah no i'm not no this is technically 
this still isn't my house, so I'm not that committed. This is a rental, so who's footing the bill? Yeah. Like, the 70 bucks we put into uh, all this. Yeah, that's... I'm fine with. You don't want to put 7,000 into a chairlift in the... <laughs> God, no. No. Not um, on... I'll, I'll put 40 bucks in for that. It, it would make it easier for the geriatric cat to get up and down the stairs. Yeah, no, we don't need that. <laughs> We don't need that. That's an investment. We see where the cat ranks. The shadowy billionaire is allergic to cats, so <laughs> trying to keep Charlene out of here is kind of high on the priority list. Wait, wait really? I thought yeah. it was another direction. Okay. Yeah, stop. Thank you. Way to kill the vibe, Zach. Read the goddamn room. Wow. Damn, but, I'm almost sober but, now. But you know what? You're trying. Well, I mean, you know. We I, can fix that. I have broken into... The uh, the high west. I've broken into the bourbon. So, yeah, oh boy. Ooh. Yep. Do you have uh, yeah, I'm mixers, gonna... chasers, I've got uh, various some... sodas. I have various sodas in the uh, the fridge down there. I'm gonna jump into that then. All right, I you think... do that. I've I'm been drinking that... it straight because that... I'm an adult. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's fine. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just thinking that kid curry sure. may have to. Uh, we might have to break that one open, open too. That... Yep. So, so both local brews to. Yep. Both local distilleries in Salt Lake. So, yep. so oh, yeah. you know, let's, if you're let's, around, I highly recommend supporting our local businesses. Let's, oh, yes. Let's read the label on this bad boy here. Let's yes, please. Here. <clears throat> Made in Utah, Kid Curry, bourbon barrel aged for eight months, gold rum, 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof, of course. Batch number one, bottle 69. That, that is handwritten. Nice. Damn. That's, why I, that's the reason why I bought it, because... <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, bottle one, batch 69. Oh, sorry, sorry, yep. Gav. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, let's see. Oh, yeah, Rocky Mountain Distilling and Bottling in West Valley. Yes, yep. not yeah. far from where I live. Yeah, actually. that's in your hood. Yeah. If I was really, uh, if I had just a little bit more to kind of throw down on this, they had uh, a batch of uh, Son of Burai. Yeah. Oh. But I unfortunately, seventy bucks a bottle is a bit out of my price range at the moment. I hear you. I, I also highly recommend a dented brick. Rum. Saw it's that. A wonderful rum. Yeah, saw that, but uh, decided to go with the Kid Curry. No, yeah. Nothing. No, it, it, but it just, I, I, I happen to like rum. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why I grabbed, uh, you know, this stuff. So I happen to know what the fuck it is you're talking about. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. that. Yeah. So. Rum is happiness in a bottle. Uh, rum is merry. Mm. I have a complicated relationship with rum, <laughs> judging, seeing as how my life has been, uh, you know. Sounds like my relationship with tequila. Uh, yeah. Same. <laughs> Greater potion of bad decision making. Oof. Yeah. Nothing good ever comes from, so I had some tequila. <laughs> so oh. I was drinking Everclear. I can't, like, like I was saying before we got going. In Soviet Russia. <laughs> we have some of that. Yeah, there is some of that. It's up <laughs> under the uh, freezer in the mini fridge. Good God, man. <laughs> yep. I showed you the bottle, didn't I? I yes, you okay. did. Yeah. yeah. No, I, God, I really, if I... If I disliked you guys more, I would have gotten us a bottle of Cuddy Sark and would have had us just drink it straight. And do you know why that's a problem? You're supposed to cut that. Exactly. Cuddy Sark was never meant to be drank oh. straight. If I was feeling adventurous, I would have grabbed a bottle of the 100 proof vodka at the house. And... Oh, so so the, the shots of Cuddy Sark, that came, that came from an all fantasy everything. Yeah, it was all fantasy everything. <laughs> which, uh, which, by the way, thank you for introducing me to that. You're that was very SEMA, welcome. SEMA last year, we listened yes. to a handful of episodes. We list, that was what we were listening to on the way down. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I mean, did. Sean Cougar, Mellon Jordan, that's yep. the best name ever. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are starting to pop up with uh, Good God. You know, Sean Cougar, or whatever, Cougar. You know, last name, Cougar Mellon, the last name. Uh, um, Dave, Dave Cougar Mellon Raleigh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, I think, I don't know, I think it's all about uh, David Borey's Instagram handle, Cool Guy Jokes 87 Yeah. That's a great one. There it is. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, no, all fantasy, everything. That's where I got the inspiration for that fantasy draft that we did. Yeah. Which, by the way, I will that's make. great. Yeah, which, by the way, I've heard your complaints, all right? I will make it more painful next time. Oh, good. So I will more be painful. What were the complaints? Uh, there was too much. You know, like there were way too many cars to choose from. Okay, well, well here's the I thing: mean, which you can also, get fucked. Yeah, like, well, I mean, yeah. the other thing is, like, yeah, there's so much, and I'm making you choose five out of that. So yeah, 
No, that, but I will. Don't worry. I'm working on a couple more. We may do that. That may be a once a month thing. Oh, oh good, you know. good. I'm, I'm going to start writing down a whole bunch of track daily crushes too. Yeah, there we go. I noticed. I noticed. Uh, we we got a little bit of flack on that. Uh, that one user submitted full size sport truck thing. Might yeah. I just emphasize full size? Yeah, Devin, come on. De- God Devin damn crazy it! Looking at you, bud. Yeah. I get it. The Tacoma X Runner is an awesome truck. I was talking. I get it, but that's not even the same class. That's a like Tacoma yeah. X Runner. He 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 says the only thing differentiating class in those particular vehicles is towing capacity. Why on God's green earth are you putting a tow package on a sport truck? Yeah. Also, park a taco next to an F one fifty or a Silverado or a Ram. Here's the thing: its direct, its closest <laughs> competitor is a V eight Dakota. And that's borderline full size. Yeah, it, yeah. It literally, the Taco competes with the Ranger. Just put it on the, the table. Colorado S10. The Ranger S10. that doesn't exist. Yeah, but, but yeah. I mean, the, the the Ranger, the Colorado S10, G, uh, Sonoma, you know, the small trucks. Right, right, right. I mean, you gotta you gotta think the the mid sized sport truck thing is not it's it's not an expanded. It's, it's not an expanded market. No, no, it is not. It is a, a very niche. Anybody that's building sport trucks, they're making them out of full size vehicles. Yeah, you know. Okay. Ca- case in point, there are two generations of Lightning, both on F one fifties. Yeah, you've got a pre and post facelift SRT ten truck. Yeah, again, fifteen hundred Ram full size. Yeah, you've got the Silverado SS that we were talking about. That is the thing that was just a truck. A full, yeah, it, it's it's. It's a fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's a, as soon like as the next day after we did that podcast, I saw one on the road. Yeah, yeah. which I'm amazed, honestly. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, I usually when I see them, I usually see them in that dark, like iridescent blue color they have. Like I saw one in red. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, the red's uncommon. Yeah. yeah. It's it's blue is the most common color. The yeah. black one is the second most common. I can see that. And then then the red one is like really kind of rare. I think they made a white. SS Silverado. I, I've seen one white one. Now, now, um, I know the Trailblazer SS. They they made a lot of those in white, actually. Surprisingly yeah, enough, there are plenty. But that was nice. a be- that was high that was, high fidelity sound. Right that was there. delightful. I like that. Uh, me too. I like that. No. Well, uh, yeah, I was talking to uh, Dave Kazarian today because uh, also out at the drift event was the. Uh, Pirelli Trophy West, uh, the Porsche series. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I didn't apply to shoot that, but somehow I got approved for credentials to do so. You know, I'm sure somebody like, saw you. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much it. But, um, anyway, yeah, so, no, me and him were talking, and... Uh, did we just finish the whole movie? Yes, yeah. Yes, we did. Cool. So, we're yeah. going to be wrapping it up here in a minute. But, um, yeah, no, he was, I told him what it was. And he's just like, you couldn't do a Raptor? And like, but it was of the generation. He's like, right. okay, I get it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, for like three full-size sport trucks, that's fine. So, like. I think it's great. I mean, De- uh, Devin, feel free to hit us up. No, Yeah. Give, like, Give us the X-Runner and two other mid-size vehicles as Comparo. Or, you know what, Devin? I mean, you have a lot bouncing around that melon of yours. Like, It's true. Yeah, I am very curious to know what you would come up with for a track daily crush. Like, yeah, I mean, we uh, like I want to hear a TDC from everybody. To be exactly. honest with you, like I, I mean, every everybody's got something different in their minds. Yeah, so send us your track daily crushes mailbag camautomag dot com or just send us a message on social media. We're at camautomag on everything. Boom. Yep. You could also redux that track daily crush with the pre facelift SRT ten. Okay. The four fifty four SS Chevy. I I don't know. I I think. The the SRT ten is yeah we're too new yeah okay then so first whatever. gen lightning mm-hmm. and then you've got four fifty four SS Silverado yep. uh, but we've got to figure something out from mm-hmm. from like the Dodge Camp or somebody else and I I don't think yeah. there was I don't think really, there was a third competitor in no the there 90s. really there really no. wasn't I mean the sport truck thing wasn't really that oh, oh, okay aside uh, at least on GM's camp you had the four fifty four SS you had the Cyclone and you had the Typhoon yeah that's about it. GMs well, you, I'd have fun for have, a year or two. I guess it's not quite a manufacturer car, but you have the the Ford. Um, wow, I can't even the, the Sport Track Ranger from Celine. That was oh. a later. Oh, oh you well, you talking the uh, the original uh, Celine Explorer? No, no, they actually made a Ranger. They made uh, what like twenty Whoa. of them. It was an eighty four or eighty six. Damn, really, all really? Red, and there was one blue one. 
Huh. Interesting. Look for the cool. Celine will get wild hair from time to time. See, yeah. Celine, yeah. Celine has some real oh, weird ones. Yeah, yeah. It, it, they've got it some has real a, weird has a 2. ones. Two point nine, two point nine V six. It had. I can't remember what else they've done to it. But oh, they they would. I hope they would have done an absolute fuckload of things to that yeah, because the two point nine was trans. an absolutely depressing engine. It, Next, to the two point eight. <laughs> <laughs> the two point eight. It came from. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the engine had. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zach, while you're here. Um, Tell us about the Suburban you told me and Gavin about. Oh, yeah. So there's – um, I was just doing some looking, and I found another car I want to have next to my garage, next to LM002. Um, next to the LM002 and the Turbo First Gen 4Runner? Yes. And the stick shift Mercy drop top? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, you are all over the, the par- goddamn map. in between map. the 850 CSI, of, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, so back in the 90s, or yeah, mid-90s. It was actually late 90s, 98, was, I believe. Well, um I was seeing them for like 96, so mid 90s. Mm. Semantics doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, um, Chevy came out with a car called the Suburban. And Lingenfelter was like, oh, that's cool. Let's put a fucking 9.9 liter V8 in it. So they. This, this is a Mercury yeah, Marine. This motor. is a, yeah. literally a boat engine in it. Uh, I think the stock engine was a 9.5, and they did some boring and stroking to it. That's that sounds right. The yeah. Mercury's motor, I think, was a was a nine point five or nine point four or something weird like that. Right, but it, it ended up being a nine point nine liter, and making uh, five hundred and fifty ish horsepower and mm-hmm. seven hundred and eighty ish foot pounds of torque. Excuse me, doing a uh, zero to sixty in four wheel drive in four point six seconds. Ugh. Because there was no way you were going to make that hook. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean traction. Well, an issue. Uh, right. car and driver, road and track. Whoever did the original article on it was saying they were getting like a four point nine second in two wheel drive. Mm, okay, damn, that's quite four. a bit. That's still scooting. Yeah, which I imagine it was probably on like two thirty five, eighty five, sixteen. Yeah, it's a the photo of it has some giant fucking tires. I'm on sure it. of it. Yeah, it's probably just a. a I mean, they look like just box standard. Yeah, Suburbans the from interior the outside. And exterior are the same thing. You're right. They, they, it, it was just an LT burb with a massive motor put in it. I, from the way it read, which might be wrong, is they put the 2500 axles underneath it. It probably started as yeah, a 2500. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell if it was right. a hot start or if that's what they put underneath it. Right. And then they did some minor con- suspension to hold the probably extra 300 pounds of engine that that thing hit. Actually, I don't oh. know. I, I don't think the 9.9 weighed a whole lot more than the 7.4 it was built on. You might be right, um, but the thing I also want to note too is that seven, that nine, the nine nine, is also a pushrod engine as well. Right, it's yes. it's, yeah. it's a big block. It's yeah. it's, it's an old school yeah. big block. Yeah. Well, in in the mid nineties, the uh, three quarter ton suburban was a thing. They didn't go to the half ton until the late nineties, early two thousands. Was the they, they made them, but the three quarter ton was also a common. Right, you, could, you could get a heavy half or a full three quarter. Yes. Right, and this one I believe was an eight lug. Three quarter, like mm-hmm. fourteen know. bolt, like yeah, yeah beefy, beefy. Damn. So having a car that would more or less walk on most of most people's sports cars nowadays is still. Oh cool. yes, and well, and that's rows still of, technically quick. Yeah. Well, yeah. Think about like like what, what does the, the new ST do? The new like the, I guess the old ST at this point now, like the focuses and the guesses. Those are what mid fours. O to sixty. Yeah. Mid fours, mm, high fours, out of the box. Yeah, I guess, out of the uh, box, boxes are five. like fives. Yeah, at so least. out of the box, having a suburban beat them is oh, kind a of embarrassing. A mid nineties suburban beating yeah. something from twenty seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but at the same time, was the displacement of yeah nine point nine yeah. liters making yeah. five hundred horsepower? You're still looking at you know just over fifty. I know two OTs that can do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So which I mean, it's fair. It, it, to be fair, to give them credit where credit's due, in the mid '90s, that was an achievement. Well, the yeah. last one that went up for, oh, for sure. Well, also we want to talk about pricing too. Is there's been two up for sale in the past three years, and they are sub twenty thousand dollars cars. Right, yeah, right. They're, exactly. they're sold, one sold for eleven, one sold for seventeen. Well, now that Radwood has become a thing, don't don't say those words. Don't say those words. Just stop now that thinking. Radwood has no, become a no, thing, no, stop, nah. stop um, <laughs> that people are getting more into '80s and '90s cars. The values will start to rise. No. Yep. Yep. So Which yep. I'm okay with. Can, kids. I'm because okay with this. Because you have a stockpile of 80s and 90s cars. I do. Yeah. You're right. It's called investments. I've got a VR4 in purple that's one of 12. That If that's not Radwood, 
I don't know what is. Uh, Dave wasn't hoarding oh, the, cars. The, the, he was the, investing in his future. The joke I was trying to make for that whole thing was <laughs> there's a the, the car comes with three rows of seats. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, a, it's a full-size people mover. Yeah, it's, yeah. You, you, you can move the whole Mormon family exactly. yeah. while beating. It'll pass everything but a gas station. <laughs> it, uh, so, nine, nine, nine miles per gallon combined. So, Ooh. Zach, what did you say zero to 61 was in that bourbon four-wheel drive? Uh, four-wheel drive was four six is what I read on the article. Good hell. Damn. Are you looking at what the stock was? No, I'm looking at um, the 2008 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. Okay. Look, looking at you, Gavin, on this one. Zero to 60. 4.7. Jesus. So the much. bourbon smoking a GT3 cup Damn. from 2008. Okay. Damn. Okay. But, the twin ways uh, th- Throw it a corner. <laughs> yeah. I, See I, what happens. I, I'm not arguing. I'm just, I'm, we're just going zero to 60. Yeah. All right. Here's okay. the deal. Who's driving? Because I'll huck the shit out of the 2500 <laughs> bourbon in that corner. Okay. I'll be in the cup car. <laughs> okay. I will. And I will be on your ass. Got it. I will I, be. I got the video camera away from the corner filming. Yes. Actually, no. I'm gonna break before because I know you're gonna roll. I will be. Yeah, I don't think it's upgrade. I breaks. don't want to be on your ass when you're on your roof. I'll be with the rescue team to pull Dave out of the suburban, <laughs> and I'm just gonna fly past you. I like so, it. So I'm just imagining what, what happened out at the proving grounds in the Subaru, happening with the fucking bourbon. Oh God, which Subaru? The, Yours or your, mine? Your Subaru. The, oh, the side, side, and in. Oh, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> five heads deep, and I, like, we're, we're going ma- tumbling. mongied the car around a corner in, like, the middle of third gear. It was great. It was fucking amazing. Amazing. In, what happens until with... you grab the inner fender well. Oh. It was inner fender well, outside rim lip. <laughs> you grabbed all of it. Many things. All kinds of things yeah. got broken. Uh, all righty, gang. Well, Smoking the Bandit has ended, as must this podcast. Unfortunately, yeah. we've gone on. Listen, you got your prerequisite two hours of podcast. You this got is me, true. You got me telling you news for half an hour, and then this going on for an hour and a half. So, listen. If you're not happy now, like, listen, it's just, just not, not going to be. It's just not broken up the way you want it to be, all right? You got your two hours. You got your two episodes. It's just, you know, different. Anyway. Anything more than that, you're just being picky. Yeah. You're we being don't, a bitch. I don't need that right now. I'm drinking bourbon, all right? I need you to be cool. Anyway, all right, everybody. We'll see how be much cool. of this I remember this when I listened to it on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, time to bring this sucker in. Thank you for joining us on episode one thirty eight of the Camcast. Man, this has been a long one. Yes, it has been. We watched Smokey and the Bandit in its entirety, and now we're watching uh, D one SL from I don't know when. Okay, honorary mentions. I mean, shout out again to Sally Field's ass. Yep. There you go. Oh, oh yes. But uh, and think about bottoms. that later. There we go. Oh. But, yep. yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, you can find this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, many, many places that you can find podcasts. Because, uh, guess what, a lot of them pull from iTunes, as I found out. So That makes sense. Dumb question. Yep. Why do we say that if we're already listening to the podcast? It's just, you know, sometimes you will overhear it. You uh, know. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, sometimes somebody becomes a dictator of, uh, you know, the office stereo. And you kind of come in 10 minutes late because, you know, it's, your jobs are not really that important. You're just kind of a... a Shout t- out to you, Stereo Dictator guy. Yep. <laughs> hey, man, you road trip with me, I almost guarantee an episode of the Camcast gets played. There you go. I'm on road trip with you now. Sounds way better than what I've been doing. Also, shout out to the people who just stroll into work late knowing that they are just a toothless cog spinning... Are you speaking about yourself fa- again? Oh, God, yes. I am... Very replaceable, yet I have yet to be replaced. You are a gearbox full of neutrals in that <laughs> machine we call the government. Yep. Anyway, yeah, find wow. us on all those places that I mentioned before. Uh, rate, review, subscribe. We appreciate it. Five stars preferred. Four stars or less, uh, you know, we'll take it. But we're going to call you a hater because you ain't paying for this thing. But if you want to pay for this thing, patreon.com slash camautomag. There it is. There you go. Help us do fun stuff. We're not going to SEMA this year because the budget didn't allow for it. But uh, you know what? Next year, you could be the one making the budget work for us. Yeah, guys. It's up to you. Help us go to SEMA. Exactly. In our Lingenfelter no, suburban. No. 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 You're saying you wouldn't go to SEMA in the back of the Lingenfelter not in the Not in the back. God, no. It's okay. throw re- three rows, and we're definitely going to put one of those like family hall or DVD player things. Read the room. Pass. We'll take the Pathfinder. Pass. I'll drive. We'll listen to the Camcast. We're going to SEMA. I'll, 
I'll take the mini mini fan. It's got a DVD player in there. We're good to go. Counter offer accepted, sir. I mean, right. I'll have the Q45 running next week. There we go. You it's, know, what? we'll it's take got like three DVD screens. We'll take the mini mini van and the Q. And there we go. We'll I paint like a magic it. chicken on the hood of the Miata. I'll clear the cops. We're good. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, patreon.com slash camautomag. You're going to hear us talking about that a lot. So you know what? If you all, sub- if you all uh, start uh, contributing on there, then we'll stop talking about it. So there you go. Actually, no, we but won't. It, we'll probably just keep talking more about it. I mean, you know, it's clearly popular, so got to keep talking about it. Uh, and can we give a super shout out to the sponsors of this? Yeah. Specifically our headline sponsor. Our currently only sponsor. Steady Broke Clothing. Yes. They're SteadyBroke.com, Steady.Broke on all social medias. Cam Auto Definitely. 15. Yeah. At checkout. Type that cam that, that coupon code in. That gives you 15% off the entire order. Yep. Get all kinds of cool stuff from them. Support them because they support us. They help yep. us do the cool things yep. that and we th- want to do. Yep. And I think if you really want to go see Tommy, the man behind uh, Steady Broke, He's out with uh, Skizzy Mars. I think they got a couple more dates before uh, that tour is over. So I think all of them in California. So shout out to California. Go get them. Oh, so excited. Yep. Gavin's very excited. Um, yeah. CamAutoSwag.com. Another way to support us. Uh, I got myself the zip hoodie and the pom-pom beanie coming quick. Very so, good. So, you know, yet another black zip-up hoodie going in my closet. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I am nothing if not adventurous. But yeah, go ahead and grab yourself. Uh, we got pom, we got beanies, both pom pom and non. Get yourself a zip up hoodie. That might be the only way I can rock a pom pom. It's pretty sweet, especially it's, the multicolored ones. Yeah, like the gray and the black. Oh, yeah. I got I got the gray and black. I may end up grabbing a gray and navy blue. Just oh, because. you know, it would be kind of dope though. Yeah. What? Okay, so black, like you know, band like part down here. Yeah, gray rest of it, red pom pom. Ooh, that would be sweet. Yeah, have that Ooh. red pom pom just pop. Oof, that would be that would be pretty tight. If you can make that happen, Mike, I would buy one in a heartbeat. All right, I will. Tr- I will do my best to make that happen, Trent. We need to make that happen. Love yep. you, long time, Trent. Yep. So yeah, CamelSwag dot com. Help us out that way. Get yourself some sweet, sweet stuff. And uh, yeah, Gavin, thanks for the good times, buddy. You know, thanks to you, thanks to Trent, thanks to Dave yep. for having me. Thanks to Brandon for listening to me and dealing with my shit. Yep. Ah, it's easy shit to deal with. And no, th- thanks. thanks to everyone that has uh, at least remotely given a shit for what I have to say. Yeah, man. Um, I really do. I mean. I love stealing Porsches from your mouth. Fuck you, Zach. Fuck Damn. You. There it is. Uh, there was the fuck you every episode. <laughs> yep. I was going to say. I mean, well, I already, I already sent Trent a middle finger, so. a boy. It works. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean. S- Sincerely, though, I want to thank everyone that has actually, you know, uh, given a shit and uh, has listened and has cared. Side shout yeah. to anybody that's made it this far into the podcast. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, like, I've seen a Fo- lot. Of- follow and support our boy, Exhibition of Speed. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, go, Dave. Go see what Gavin's up to, Exhibition of Speed uh, on YouTube. Yeah, we're actually starting a new thing where we're following other people's builds. It's, in a, lot, it's a lot of fun. We're calling it Local Legends. I love there you it. Go. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, if you got something, reach out to him. For sure. And yeah. we, uh, we're following Mark... In his uh, LS3 swapped Colorado. I love nice. it. So we're talking about sport trucks. Yeah, there we go. Get there it sportier. is. Build your yeah, own. It's, it's the Chevy Lightning. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Colorado SS, maybe? Yeah. Oh. There yeah. There we go. Probably. We, we, we could, could call, call it, it that. Such. Hey, man, as we mentioned on uh, Tuesday, Ford's not giving us the uh, Raptor. Uh, yeah, the Raptor Ranger. So. They're like bastards. Exactly. So here's an option for you. Indeed. Yep. I look forward to seeing what you're going to produce over there, Gavin. Yeah, man. I look forward to it. It's always top-notch stuff. Thanks, so. Brandon. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Heart you. There you go. So, yeah, continue following us. We're at Cam Automag on everything. CamAutomag.com. Follow Exhibition of Speed. Yes, yeah, son. boy. At Exhibition of Speed, right? Uh, yep. yeah, at Exhibition of Speed on Instagram. Exhibition of Speed Show on Facebook. Nice. Yep. And if you want to follow me, I'm Gavin's Poor Brain on Instagram. Yep. All, right. All one word. Yep, Gavin's, Gavin's poor brain. Poor yep, all one word. Pretty much just look at anything that we've tagged Gavin in, and there Basically, you go. Basically, yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And there it is. There you go. You and once me. again, Exhibition of Speed is you and Justin McIntyre. It is. Yeah. Yep. So, 
All right, there we go, folks, for episode 138 of Holy the Camcast. Holy shit. That's a lot. Uh, yes. I Damn. Have, I have been Mike. I am, was, and will continue to be Gavin Picar. Damn straight. I've been Professor Dave, Daddy Rads. There you go. I've been Mr. Lords. There you go. I am both mildly drunk and Brandon. a boy. Hey, I right. like it. All right, we're going to turn off the Xbox and go over to the PlayStation, probably play some Grand Theft Auto or GT Sport. I don't know what. Hey, but, uh, I, yeah, plus one vote for Rob Steele murder kill. There we go. Steely Wheelie Automobile. Ooh, Goodbye, who knows? Goodbye,